I don't know why we can't be more nuanced with this. It, it is certainly time to do so. I saw, you know, Dr. Gorski, who's a belligerent um, anti anti vaxxer. So he's been attacked by the anti vaxxers very unfairly over the years, and so he has this very defensive position on the vaccines. And he had tweeted something a couple of days ago that I was gonna I was gonna really respond to. He said. If you're not anti-vaccine, tell me which vaccines you support. Tell me, just tell me the ones you support. And I thought, I support all of them for particular risk groups at particular ages. I don't give the shingles vaccine to a six-year-old. I don't give yellow fever vaccine to someone who's not traveling to a region where they're going to get yellow fever. I don't give the Prevnar Pneumovax vaccine to a 12-year-old. I don't give the HPV vaccine to an 85-year-old, but I use all those vaccines. So it's not all vaccines all the time in every age group in all situations. It's never that. And why can't we do that with the COVID vaccine? Why can't we say, hey, it's great over 65, 23 year old athlete i'm not sure let's see if that's appropriate for them let's get that data right we do that with every vaccine there is not a vaccine that doesn't have a particular age window risk category sex category i mean it's it's a travel category it's always something exposure category that's where the vaccines are used so it's not all all vaccines all circumstances no matter what no questions asked we figure out where to best use them to have the best effect with the least risk the key is with the least risk and we have been tolerating way more risk than usual we really have yeah uh, renal b is uh mentioning on rumble that the pfizer uh one of the pfizer representatives admitted that they had no data on the transmissibility of of the virus uh after the vaccine and guess what that should have been obvious to everyone right we knew they didn't they didn't take people and see if they were infectious did you anybody see any data like that ever it's unethical to do that for that matter they just they thought at the time that they were squashing the virus and the viral replication therefore there would not be any transmission turned out not to be true but they did not test transmissibility and this is the key and this is what the dutch uh, government official was pointing out all of the mandate policies and all of the the vaccine passports and the and the grotesque um, discrimination that came out of that was all on the belief that this virus was not transmitted after the vaccine. That was the entire justification for it, and it was wrong. Somebody needs to apologize. The CDC states that COVID-19 vaccines are safe, effective, and reduce the risks of COVID-19. Always consult with your personal physician before making any decision about your health.